happy Friday. I am so excited to be here yet again. And today we are talking about Tierra's tips for energy management. Come on, somebody. Okay, come on, somebody. This conversation is coming because of a couple of things. So lately I've been feeling myself stressed, overwhelmed, Um, just a lot going on. And so I recognize that if I'm dealing with it, there's probably someone else dealing with it as well. So I decided to have this conversation and give you my five tips on energy management. Now this is different from time management, but they do go hand in hand. So first tip for energy management is number one, having a self-care routine. Have some kind of routine in place that takes care of you, (laughs) okay? And the reality is our self-care routines look different for all of us, okay? All of us. It's going to look different and that's okay. But the beauty of having a self-care routine is that consistency. If I go to the gym one good time, for five hours and never go again, I'm not going to receive the results that I'm looking for. But if I spend 15 minutes a day, every day, I'm going to get those results. Same with your self-care. You have to be consistent with it. And self-care is about what you need. I can give you suggestions. I can give you tips. And maybe I'll do a video on self-care. But um, at the end of the day, it's about what you need from you. So have a self-care routine in place. And if you'd like for me to drop a video on self-care, make sure you put hashtag self-care in the comments. Step num- Tip number two, make sure you're value- valuing your energy peaks. What is an energy peak, right? So some people are morning people. I fall into that category. It's just what it is. Some people are night owls. Don't text me late at night. I'm asleep. I promise. Um, but And then there are some people who get an energy peak in the middle of the day. So understanding when your energy peak is and the activities that you need to um, put your brain power to, do those during your energy peaks. If you're a night owl, don't convince yourself, I'm going to wake up at 5 o'clock in the morning and get work done. You're not going to do it. You're not going to do it. If you're a morning person, don't think that you're going to stay up late, work all night, and da-da-da. Just get up in the morning and do it. Wherever your energy is best, that's where you put the activities that require your brain, not the mundane activities like checking your email or um, definitely not social media. Like wherever your energy is, that's when you need to do the the creative things. That's when you need to do the thought-provoking things. That's when you need to honor and value your energy peak. Tip number three, do an audit circle, uh, audit on your circle. Crazy, right? So this is something I've recently started doing and um, I just went through my contacts and the people who, when I have a conversation with them and I talk to them and my energy goes up, I put a plus sign next to them. However, if I have a conversation with someone and more likely than not, my energy is drained, I put a negative sign next to them, right? Now, that doesn't mean I can't speak to someone who has a negative sign next to their name. But what that does mean is it reminds me to be cognizant of my energy when I'm in exchanging with them. An example of that, if I'm having a bad day, I need to call somebody with a plus sign. If... I'm having a bad day and someone with a negative sign calls, maybe today isn't the best day to speak to them. And it's really just about awareness of where your energy goes. Because there are people who have, um, for example, there are people who have negative signs in my my contacts, but they're mentees. I'm supposed to be pouring into them. They don't give to me because they're my mentee. I'm supposed to be giving. I'm supposed to be pouring. But if I don't have anything in my cup right now, I can't pour. And so it's just an awareness tool to make sure you know who helps you 
bring your energy back up and who requires energy from you so that in that moment you can make a decision on are do I have the energy levels to engage with this person right now and that's okay tip number five and my favorite tip okay this is my favorite one having consistent rest days We got to stop trying to outwork Jesus and I will die on this hill. Stop trying to outwork Jesus. Okay. When God was on the earth, creating the earth, he worked for six days and rested on the seventh. You think the God of the universe needed to take a break? No, I think he did it for an example of how we should live. You work really hard for six days and then you rest. But this idea of I'll sleep when I die and I'm going to work 20, 28, what is it, 25, 8, nah, baby, sleep tonight, okay, <laughs> get your rest, and one day a week, don't do anything out of obligation. I'm not saying you have to sit around and do nothing all day, although sometimes those are some fun days too. Those are some of the best days, but don't do anything out of obligation. Allow yourself to rest and allow that to be okay. Now I'm going to go ahead and run through these tips. Make sure you put in the comments which one is your favorite tip or one that you know you need to implement, right? So tip number one, have a self-care routine and follow it consistently. Tip number two, value your energy peaks. Are you a morning person? Are you a midday person? Or are you a night owl, right? Tip number three, Audit your circle. Who brings you positive energy? Who pulls from your energy? And govern yourself accordingly. Tip number four. Y'all, I completely skipped tip number four. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> tip number four is put yourself first. How could I forget this one? I got so excited about tip number five. Put yourself first first. Okay. I'm not saying you can't be there for everyone else, but at least be there for you first. And I'm going to be honest, your energy peak should be your time. I'm a morning person. The first two and a half hours of my day are for me and God. And that's it. I'm focused on myself. My phones don't do not disturb. You can't really call. Um, I'll see it. But I'm focusing on myself first. So then from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m., the world can have me. But from 6.30 a.m. until 9 a.m., I have me. And that's it. Right? So tip number four is put yourself first. I'm sorry. I skipped the up. Don't judge me. <laughs> but I'm leaving it in here to show it's okay to not be perfect. Okay? Tip number five was having consistent rest days. As always, guys, make sure you definitely hit the subscribe button so that you are the first to know when a new video has dropped. What topics would you like to discuss? Put in the comments Tierra's tips for... Yes. Make sure you put in the comments what conversations you would like to have. Hit subscribe and share this video with someone who needs to hear this information. Thanks, guys. See you next week.